Welcome to Eternal Mena, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are so glad that you have joined us uh, for another week of uh, Look into God's Word. And we are looking uh, specifically at Psalm 31. Uh, last Friday, we introduced it. And uh, today we want to look at uh, verses 3 and 4. Psalm 31 verses 3 and 4. Since you are my rock and my fortress, for the sake of your name, lead and guide me. Keep me free from the trap that is set for me, for you are my refuge. And again, you will notice instantly what a personal, intimate relationship David had with his Lord. Look at the three expressions where you find that personal intimacy. You are my rock, my fortress, my refuge. And uh, it would serve us well that we too should develop personal intimacy with our God. And we too should be able to say, out of deep personal conviction and experience that the Lord God is our rock, our fortress, and our refuge. And here we find David uh, making a very uh, simple petition to his God. Lead me and guide me. And isn't that a prayer that all of us need to pray almost by the day? Dear God, lead and guide me. If I'm left my own, I'm going to make foolish decisions. I may wander off. You have to guide me. You have to show me the way, the path in which I should walk. And David gives a very powerful uh, motivation as to why God should lead and guide us for the sake of your name. Your honor and your reputation is at stake because of me. If I do the wrong thing, if I make wrong choices. So please God, for the honor and the reputation of your name, lead and guide me. Why? Because verse 4, we are told that the enemy has set traps for David. The enemy was very subtle and dangerous. And David was well aware of the enemy's subtlety. And he is praying that God should keep him safe and keep him free from the trap that is set for him. Now, of course, we all have the arch enemy, the devil. And he is also subtle and dangerous. And the devil has set traps for us. He wants us to trip and fall. He wants us to dishonor God's name. And that by itself will bring God's wrath upon us. So practically, what are some of these traps that Satan sets for us? Most certainly the money trap. The love of money is the root of all evil, the Bible says. And the devil would come and whisper in our ears, get more, get more, get more, get more, consume, consume, be a consumer. And uh, we can fall into the money trap. Or we can fall into sexual traps. And uh, here in North America, uh, that's a huge trap. And uh, so many have fallen victim uh, to the sex trap. And we uh, need to be very vigilant of that trap. And then, of course, the trap of pride, uh, how uh, subtle and dangerous that trap is. Spiritual pride, racial pride, uh, religious pride, uh, national pride, and uh, the list just goes on. And pride uh, is the mother of all sins. And uh, so we need to be vigilant against the trap of pride. And then, of course, there is the trap of bitterness where the devil would want us uh, to feed on our bitterness and uh, complain and gripe and uh, to say in the words of uh, Naomi, God has dealt very bitterly with me 
and uh, to be bitter. And, uh, and that leads, of course, to the trap of unforgiveness, where we fail to forgive people who have hurt us. These are all traps, just mentioning a few, that Satan has set for us. And we are praying that God would protect us from these traps and he would set us free so that we can um, enjoy our God and live a life of freedom. So for today, may the Lord be our rock, our fortress, our refuge, and let's ask him to lead and guide us for the honor and reputation of his name. And may we keep our eyes wide open as we walk through life, that we can detect the traps of Satan and avoid them and be victorious. May God grant you a blessed day today. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.